They say that it's rude to stare. When we're young, many of us are told by our parents that looking at something or someone for too long is considered bad manners. But at the same time, sometimes life hands us situations where we can't help but stare. We're forced to drink it all in because, frankly, how could we not? These videos are a lot like that. You'll not be able to unsee these sights we're about to show you, and we wouldn't have it any other way. We don't mean to be rude, but 15 unusual things you won't be able to take your eyes off. Peeling skin Even if you don't understand why it's not that uncommon for people to get a lot of joy from peeling skin, some folks just love watching videos of people peeling their skin. And who among us gets excited when a sunburn starts to bubble because it means you're going to start peeling? Obviously, a sunburn is never something to be stoked about, but it's hard to resist the sheets of dead skin, begging to be carefully ripped off of your body. While this might disgust some people, it's actually pretty normal to crave picking at your skin, especially when you're already peeling. We're all different, which means that peeling sunburn provides a different function for each person, experts believe. Some people like the way the skin looks when it's being peeled off. It's more visual or sensory. Others might not like the way it looks when their skin is falling off, so they peel it off to prevent it from looking that way. Or some might find the blistery texture of sunburned skin repulsive, so they feel like they have to get rid of it. In certain cases, peeling is less a sensory experience than it is a mental one. You can even buy skin treatments that deliberately exfoliate, a skin peeling paradise. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. This image might be an unusual thing we can't take our eyes off, but wow, we wish we could. This cow has a huge swollen udder. Why? This particular type of cattle is the biggest milk producer of the cow species. The Holstein Friesian is the largest of the dairy breeds and they're known for their milk production capabilities. Members of the breed are exceedingly specialized animals. They possess an ability to convert feed into protein for human consumption to a degree that's unique. Several of these cows have produced over 7,000 gallons of milk in a 305-day lactation period in the past 30 years. That's a lot of milk. They may be the single most important breed of cattle, not just dairy cattle, in the world. Their precise time of origin is uncertain, but these cows come from the Netherlands. The original stock were the black animals and white animals of migrant European tribes who settled in the region about 2,000 years ago. Now, these milk machines are popular all over the world. But that said, does the cow feel as uncomfortable as it looks? Typically, a cow only produces milk after the birth of a calf. Many nursing cows give enough milk to feed the calf with plenty left over for their human caretakers, often as much as eight or more gallons a day. It looks like this cow has enough milk to feed an army, right? Leave your first impressions in the comments below and use the hashtag sweet topic. Cotton Candy Art TikTok's Cotton Candy Guy has a sweet way to make edible art using cotton candy. The sight, the smell, the taste, and the nostalgia of cotton candy makes it one of the best sweet treats out there. It's nearly impossible to resist the wispy, shimmering strands of sugar. Thanks to some talented vendors, our favorite sweet treat is now even more irresistible. Mixing street art with street food, cotton candy artists are able to sculpt the colorful fairy floss, turning it from a sugary cloud into a stunning work of art. The origins of cotton candy trace back centuries, all the way to Renaissance Italy. Back then, chefs melted and spun sugar manually. The process included them pulling the candy into thin strands using forks and draping it over broom handles. However, the cotton candy we know and love today didn't make its debut till the 19th century. Who introduced this sugary treat? A dentist created cotton candy, believe it or not, in 1897. Back to the art. The artists start by twirling different colors of cotton candy around a stick to make the base of the art. Then, using nothing more than a thin wooden stick, they proceed to transform the already appealing treat into a cool, delicious design. It's an art form that anyone can appreciate, especially those of us with a sweet tooth. Silicone Color Mixing Speaking of satisfying stuff we can't take our eyes off, watching this coil of silicone with colored dye fed into powerful steel rollers over and over again until the color is spread throughout 
is super satisfying. You can add color to almost any material by using a color tint or pigment. Silicone pigments are highly concentrated liquid colors used to intrinsically color silicone. They're not in themselves paints like we're used to as they're not mixed with any binder, just pure pigments suspended in a silicone fluid to allow you to easily add what you need from the container. They offer great value for money as they're highly concentrated and a little goes a long way. As they're designed to be used with silicone, they do not interfere with the silicone setting as other paints or colors may. The more you add in proportion to the volume of liquid rubber, the more dramatic the color effect. If this is your first time adding color to silicone, it's recommended you test the color effect by adding a few drops and observe the outcome. If mixing silicone on your own isn't happening, just put on this video, add some mood music and bam, you'll be feeling relaxed in no time. <laughs> Laser paint. If you're a creative, visual person, this is the gadget for you. This portable projector with different colors of lasers is able to form pictures by rotating and flashing them rapidly through lenses. This plain black metal box measures about 4 inches on each side, with a cutout in the front to expose the laser and lens array. Two screw-in pegs sit under the cutout, holding a small door in place to cover the array when not in use, or providing mounting points for different optional lenses. A tripod screw mount can be found on the bottom of the projector, so let your creative laser energy go. It connects to a computer or smartphone to control its projections and can be programmed to show pictures, animations, music visualizations, and games, and it can even work as a laser engraver with an optional lens. Plus, it has a battery that can last two to three hours. It's surprisingly portable, which makes it handy for on-the-go use. But at about 500 bucks, it's an expensive toy, but for semi-professional performances, displays and crafts, it's a fascinating and flexible device. And it looks great. Take your visual ideas to another level with the laser cube and show it off anywhere you'd like to make a huge impact. <laughs> Barnacle blasting. Barnacles are fascinating creatures. However, some boaters call them by their slang name, crusty fowlers, for good reason. Anyone who's ever maintained a vessel knows that removing barnacles from anything requires a pressure washer. Barnacles like places with lots of activity, like underwater volcanoes and intertidal zones where they reside on sturdy objects like rocks, pilings, and buoys. Moving objects like boats and ship holes and whales are particularly vulnerable to the pesky critters. Large barnacle colonies cause ships to drag and burn more fuel leading to significant economic and environmental costs. How do barnacles stick to the undersides of vessels, to other sea life, to each other, and to pretty much anything they come into contact with? They secrete a fast-curing cement that's among the most powerful natural glues known, with an adhesive strength of 22 to 60 pounds per square inch. The glue is so strong that researchers are trying to figure out how it can be used commercially. That's why you use the big guns, so to speak. A good pressure wash, either on land or underwater. Investing in a durable cleaning brush, extra hose, and the right chemicals are essential when cleaning barnacles with water blasters. Backflow Incense The history of incense begins more than 6,000 years ago. Since its origin, incense is considered one of the first fragrant materials to have been used by humans. It was found especially in the ingredients of bombs that were used for the mummification of Egyptians. Sacred or secular rites, the fumigation of incense continues in the Roman and Greek worlds until modern times. It's still used during religious ceremonies, but have you ever heard of backflow incense? Commonly referred to as waterfall incense, backflow incense is exactly as the name suggests. Incense where the incense smoke flows in the opposite direction as typical incense that is, downwards instead of upwards. Incense smoke is actually more dense than normal air at room temperature because it contains tiny particles. But when a normal incense is lit, smoke flows upwards because the effect of the heat offsets the weight of the tiny particles, as hot air is lighter than room temperature air. However, in the case of a backflow incense, as it burns, smoke enters the hollow center tunnel, where it cools as it follows along the path. When smoke cools, it becomes denser, so when it exits the incense at the bottom, it flows gently downwards. Plus, it just looks cool and smells great. Road Painting Robots 
If you've ever walked or driven past the good, hard-working people on our roads getting the job done, then you know it's a lot of long hours working under a scorching sun or in the freezing cold and sometimes completely wet from the rain. So this looks like a really good idea. Time-saving road painting robots. The new autonomous machine uses precise positioning technology to mark out where white lines need to be painted on new or resurfaced roads. Ordinarily, pre-marking road markings is a time-consuming job, calculating the positioning of the markings and walking several miles to spray or chalk them on the road. Bending down to pre-marked roads by hand can also raise the risk of back injuries. Just working on a busy road is putting workers' lives at risk. So by using the robot, road workers spend far less time on the road and are at less risk of an accident. The robot also boasts improved accuracy and can mark the road faster. So far, the robot has already saved hundreds of hours of working time. Plus, they're saving drivers on the world's busiest roads from hundreds of hours of disruption. Besides helping drivers and its safety benefits, the robot also enables road workers to focus on completing other essential work on the road. Air Fountain This artist actually creates fountain-style art installations from fabric. Known for kinetic sculptures and installations that channel the power of air, Daniel Wurzel creates air fountains. His magical sculptures make light sheets of fabric float in the air endlessly. It's beautiful to see. The artist's work around the world is highly acclaimed for its motion and grace, capturing an elegance that's inspired, in part by his fascination with fluidity and flight. Motion is really what I'm about, says the air fountain artist, but flight seems to be always there. Daniel's installations embrace deeper meanings of flying by working with the way air naturally organizes itself. In combination with other materials, it can evoke a hypnotic and more emotional connection with viewers. Creating an installation begins conceptually, but then takes shape in how Daniel works with his medium. Manipulating his materials in flight demands intense coordination between sometimes dozens of fans that create a repeatable aerodynamic system. But the result is magnificent. The work has been exhibited in many museums and galleries, and viewers are encouraged to bring their own interpretations to Daniel's creations. <laughs> Synchronized ball bouncing. Basketball plus yoga? It's not a combination that some wouldn't think could work. But as you can see, these young people have it figured out. In fact, synchronized drills like these are becoming a popular exercise in a group setting. Playing basketball helps to improve motor coordination, flexibility, and endurance. It also encourages speed, agility, and strength. These skills are shown to have a positive effect on promoting a healthy body weight and encouraging more physical activity which can enhance cardiorespiratory fitness and self-esteem. Just bouncing the ball challenges your entire core, which includes your back and hip muscles, to be stronger and healthier. The purpose of yoga is to build strength, awareness, and harmony in both the mind and body. While there are more than 100 different types of yoga, most sessions typically include breathing exercises, meditation, and assuming postures that stretch and flex various muscle groups. Because there are so many different kinds of yoga practices, it's possible for anyone to start. So this basketball yoga mashup just might be our new favorite workout. It might take a while to be as good as these young people, but with a ball and a mat, you're on your way. Stick Bombs If you're bored, good with your hands, and extremely patient, this is the activity for you. A stick bomb is a basic mechanical spring-loaded device constructed out of flat sticks woven together. Simple stick bombs made out of four, five, or six sticks have been known for ages, and they're created for fun and as art. If constructed properly, the removal of a single stick causes the other sticks to fly apart with surprising force. This, however, is anything but simple. These folks created what's called the Cobra Weave, the sticks are woven together to form a reticulated grid, with each stick held in place by a bending moment created by the elasticity of the wood. And when you weave this many stick bombs together, the results are something else altogether. They literally used thousands of sticks to create these roller coaster style cobra weave stick bombs that move around through rooms, around furniture, whatever their imagination required. But wow, it must have taken a very long time. Not only that, the colorful stick bomb chains make explosive shapes and designs too. A couple of formations even incorporated some plastic cups and obstacles for extra effect. 
and the variety of configurations in which stick bombs can be constructed is virtually limitless. The current world record for the world's largest stick bomb is 68,480 sticks. <laughs> Bubble Wrap Bike Have you ever noticed that you tend to fidget more when you're stressed? One possible explanation is that fidgeting helps release muscle tension caused by stress. Some experts say that popping bubble wrap can help you de-stress faster. This is because popping a row of bubbles gives you instant gratification. In fact, a study found that popping bubble wrap for 60 seconds relieved as much stress as a 33-minute massage. Whether this is actually true or not is up for debate. This person took stress relief to another level. A Southern California magician assembled a bike that actually allows the rider to pop hundreds of plastic bubbles at once. Jealous much? Buss asks the camera before he pedals over a huge roll of bubble wrap. The amusing contraption is Buss's second bubble wrap bike incarnation. His first version of the bike could only go straight. However, with a few tweaks, his latest bubble wrap bike can steer, making the experience of riding over bubble wrap all the more dynamic. You can't deny the simple joy of popping bubble wrap sheets. It's a universal truth that people of all ages love to pop bubble wrap. This is probably the most fun way to do it. Buss said that bubble wrap, which was only partially popped, was rolled up and is now back in his garage. <laughs> mattress Dominoes Mixing the serious business of mattresses with the most epic game of dominoes and you pretty much have the funnest record-breaking attempt ever. Okay, so it's not serious at all, but it is very, very epic. An appliance and electronics company tried to break the record for the largest human mattress dominoes with 1,200 participants at a resort and conference center in Maryland, USA. If that doesn't help sell mattresses and dominoes, we don't know what will. However, their world record for the largest human mattress dominoes was knocked down after two betting brands set up a chain reaction with a staggering 2016 people. The attempt was part of their annual manager's meeting and the feat was accomplished on its first try and took 13 minutes and 38 seconds. Not to be outdone, in 2019, the largest human mattress dominoes attempt consisted of 2019 people and was achieved in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The whole record attempt lasted 11 minutes and 13 seconds. That's even faster than the previous record and with more people. You imagine how long it took to coordinate all the mattresses and the people. After the record attempt, all the mattresses were donated to charities. <laughs> Elephant Toothpaste With just a few ingredients, you can make something that looks like foamy toothpaste being squeezed from a tube, but big. So big that it looks almost fit for an elephant. The only point of this do-it-yourself elephant toothpaste is to create a giant foaming reaction and use science to wow your friends in a larger-than-life way. All you need is an empty plastic vessel, dry yeast, warm water, dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and a location for the activity that can tolerate spills, like an outdoor location. Why not throw in some food coloring? There will be a mess and yeah, you do have to clean it up. Remember, if you mix yeast with hydrogen peroxide, the hydrogen peroxide will rapidly break down into water and oxygen gas. The oxygen gas forms bubbles. These bubbles would usually escape from the liquid and pop quickly. But adding a little dish soap provides additional surface tension, allowing the bubbles to get trapped and creating lots of foam. If you love a do-it-yourself at home experiment and you can enjoy it with your fellow science enthusiasts, this is the experiment for you. The largest elephant's toothpaste fountain is 12,095 cubic feet and 1,676.16 cubic inches. Can you imagine the size of the foam reaction? <laughs> Braiding machines Braiding is among the oldest and most important textile processes, transforming small natural fibers into more functional forms. Fabrics used in traditional braiding, such as rope, have been used since 4000 BC. During the 1960s, the U.S. government, as well as industrial and academic researchers, developed 3D braiding machines for use in producing composite material preforms, such as carbon fiber composites. A braiding machine is a device that interlaces three or more strands of yarn or wire to create a variety of materials, including rope, reinforced hose, covered power cords, and some types of lace. Products from braiding machines are everywhere in life, like shipbuilding, national defense industry, 
support operations, high pressure and magnet shielding wires and pipes, decorative ropes and belts, shoelaces, wherever it's required. There's really a machine for everything, even braiding. And not just basic braids, really elaborate, incredibly strong braids. Materials include natural and synthetic yarns, metal wires, leather tapes and others. There are non-traditional machines too that have a grid array of thread carriers that under computer control can braid anything. Snake dens. If you're scared of snakes, you might want to look away. This provincial wildlife park about four miles north of Narcisse, Manitoba in Canada is the home of tens of thousands of red-sided garter snakes, the largest known concentration of these serpents in the world. Tens of thousands of snakes arrive each year at this snake den to sleep and mate. They pile into nests together in huge piles, and they're a slithering sight to behold. Years ago, the snake population was dangerously low here, so the local wildlife management established snake crossing tunnels under the roads, leading to a safer living area. And new road signs cautioned drivers to slow down for snakes. And the plan worked. The population of snakes in the area improved, as you can see. They hibernate in the natural crevices and tunnels eroded into the porous limestone underground. And each spring, the red garters emerge from their sleep. The snakes are most active in late April to early May, which is their mating season. And also in early September, when the snakes slither back down to their spots in the limestone tunnels. And it repeats like this every year in the Narcy snake dens. If your eyes need a rest, now's your chance. We know that after seeing these videos, you can't unsee them. But that's why we're here, to make discovering unusual things even easier for you. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more.